Hey guys, this is Gio from TSMR6. I play support flex for the team, and this is my guide on how to play Nomad on offense. As the Nomad is just in sight, Gio has found an avenue on in, and he's found a frag with it. He'll find a second. Gio will come to the rescue. Again, it's Julio in a 1v2. Gio will need to find the last member of Ninjas in Pajamas. He has the marks, and Gio clutches it! When playing Nomad, you basically have two kind of objectives. You either cut the map using your utility, or you watch flank. The reason I bring Nomad over operators like Lion and Gridlock is the amount of presence I feel she brings to the table. I feel like you can either cut up the map or just watch the flanks without having to rely on drones or someone sitting on them. So I feel like she brings a lot, especially with the soft reach and ADS clear with stuns and breach charges. Our maps are pretty good for Nomad, but if I had to pick a bad one, it'd probably be Clubhouse right now. There really is no room for a flank watch on club. This includes Gridlock, Lion, and Nomad. She doesn't really fit into the meta ops that you need to bring for Clubhouse. These include Sob Reach, Hard Breachers, Thatchers, and Smokes on Cap. Almost every op synergizes well with Nomad, I feel like, as long as you're able to get the, the Nomads off. The only thing that can stop it really are ADS. So anything that brings stuns or ADS clear, any op that can do that would probably help it. I'm basically the flex support for our team. So being Nomad, really just fits in with the play style because I'm able to set down the nomads on the flanks, sit on drones and support the team. For nomad, uh, this is what I personally like to use on her. She has two guns, the AK and the ARX. If you want to mag them or just shoot down barricades and release more ammo, AK is the way. A little bit more damage, the ARX is the play. For the AK, I personally like to use the ACOG flash hider. Uh, laser, a lot of people don't seem to know, but it helps your hip fire. But it really just kind of gives away your positioning at a higher level. So you just got to be careful with that. For the ARX, ACOG muzzle. For the pistol, you can't really put any on it. You can put a laser if you want, but it doesn't really help to be honest. The pistol's kind of bad. For the gadget itself, depends on what you want to do. If you need to clear ADSs or your team, you just kind of just needs to be able to like entry maps or just help more of an aggressive playstyle. Stuns are the way. If you're kind of just playing a passive team and they kind of give you the map and you don't really need to do much with stunts, breaches are kind of the way. Yeah, this also helps with uh, breaching hatches so your solid breacher doesn't have to wait, uh, waste any utility. I personally use the stuns a lot of the time. During prep phase as Nomad, I'm just looking for holes in the defense. You obviously just want to see where the bomb is if possible, but you shouldn't really be the one to sacrifice drones to be able to find the bomb since you really kind of need them for flank watch. As support, you kind of just want to look around the map for anything that needs to be cleared, whether that's the spots or players themselves. This includes ADSs, the players, or anyone that needs to be debunked so you can help either them with your stuns or just be able to take the spot itself. Nomad uh, by default kind of is already a just run out watcher to be honest. So you just got to decide on your own if you want to help support your team. Let's say if they're getting smoked, you got to run in and help. Or like if everyone's doing their job and everything's going fluid, you're just able to watch either flanks, run outs, jump outs, whatever you need for the team. Nomad has two counters in Jaeger and Wamai. Basically both of them can catch your air jabs when you put it down. So you just gotta be able to clear either the Wamai or the Jaegers themselves to be able to put them down. For keybinds, I'm kind of a freak. I use Q and E for gadget and prone. Q is gadget, E is prone, I lean with my mouse buttons, and I throw nades or any utility with my scroll wheel, just pressing it down. B is for melee for me. With the way the pro wireless is shaped, I'm able to just correctly just hit my key binds. This goes from either nading to leaning the correct way. I personally like to switch my sensitivity constantly. It just helps me perform better. With the pro wireless, I'm just able to do it with the click. Switching DPI is just as easy as that. When using Nomad, since you're not able to pick up the air jabs, you gotta be careful where you place them. I personally like to cut off power spots. The best example I could give, probably Cafe. It has three stairways people can run up. There's red, brown, and the white stairs in the back. Here you can't really place them high, so obviously you'd put them lower. Make sure the whole radius covers the flank so you're not getting trolled by them. Also, you gotta be careful with the yellow laser since everyone can see the yellow laser. If let's say someone was to be playing at the bottom of them stairs and they see your laser trying to shoot your nomad, 
it'll probably be peak you so you got to be careful with that these would be good examples of like his power spots for your nomads where they either have to come up and shoot it or they just come up and hit the nomads on the flank finally just gonna succeed to open up the castle barricade and try to go upstairs there isn't really a lot of time left for this play though he'll be caught by an air jab on the way up more than certainly revealing his position the air jabs actually have been very successful they're using them very aggressively they're using them to cut off any safe passage for them to try and get aggressive towards TSM. I really like the style that Geo and the rest of TSM is applying to this utility. It's really hard to mess up the air jabs themselves. I feel like you gotta be trolling or just teammates who's running into your air jabs while you're shooting them. You definitely gotta be trolling if you're messing those up. A high value stun, in my opinion, would probably be just an ADS clear. So just being able to clear a certain ADS for yourself to be able to put an air jab down or for your team to destroy intel or whatever it is. Traps are pretty hard to deal with, to be honest, unless you bring a Thatcher. Uh, other than that, you just kind of have to avoid them. Or uh, unless they're like lesions, you can just shoot those or cap cans as well. You can shoot them. Ella mines, for example, are kind of harder because they can be above like a doorway or anywhere, like an entry point. And those are pretty hard to get uh, rid of unless you hit them. When playing Nomad, you just basically got to tell the team what you cut off. This includes whether you cut off vertical play, flank, whatever it is you cut off, you just got to Make sure you communicate with your team so they understand what is clear and what they can do. Nomad is also pretty good for setting up plants. You can just blow Nomad off uh, the entryways with your air jabs and then you set up the plant that way. One versus two, but Geo shuts him down on yellow stairs and TSM with three plants so far. As Nomad, before the bomb goes down, you just kind of want to set up your team. This includes cutting off the map and be able to plant the bomb itself. Uh, after the bomb is down, you kind of just want to dip, <laughs> run away. You can use your nomads if you still have some to cut off uh, anyone just rotating back. Or honestly, you can just put them on the diffuser. So every time they try to run up to the diffuser, they're kind of they're not going to be looking at the diffuser since they're mostly aiming at you. So they'll probably hit it. As nomad, you kind of don't really want to save your air jabs if possible. I mean, it's really helpful if you still have air jabs by the time the plant goes down, but normally you shouldn't. After plant, to be honest, you just have to play your life because at the end of the day, they have to defuse the bomb. So you just got to work your life and just work the picks. Thanks for watching my guide on how to play nomad on offense. If you'd like to see any other guides on any other operators, just comment below and let me know. And see you guys next time.